Golly, that is a big shallow water fish. Look at that freaking monster, Bill. Do not lose it. Scoop him, dude. Oh, God. So we're gonna do a little intro after the fact. We got out here today, um, we were gonna do a shallow water bite, and that's exactly what we attempted to do here, and we did it. <laughs> These fish were exactly where Chris said they were. We didn't do an intro because we had to grind for bait. It took, I don't know, probably an hour or better to get bait, maybe yeah, closer to two hours, huh yeah, Chris? that was a brutal bait run. Spring transition, we were 57 degrees, uh, this morning when we started it was we're coming off the cold spell it's supposed to be 93 today i think we probably got close to it uh, so transition means they're coming out of deep water moving up shallow they've been up shallow now for about two weeks they don't all do it at the same time but they are making their move so that's the bite we're out, we uh we targeted we didn't even look anywhere really besides shallow. We went to the north end of the lake. We got up in the muddy water. Uh, we marked fish right around the channel. That's where we started. Heck of a day. Yeah, we had a heck of a day. We hammered them. Yeah, that was a great time. It's always good when you can catch some big fish up shallow because they they really show off when you hang one like that. And it, they're fun up shallow. So you guys stick around, stay tuned. It's a freaking heck of a show coming up. Yeah, we had a great time. I appreciate Bill, and uh, stay tuned. It's it's a pretty good show. All right. Go to work. Way to do it, man. This is awesome. what we're about to throw on. We are in 31 feet. The water temperature is 56 degrees. We're going to drop on this piece of structure that's about a six foot hole the grass just lit up in it that's money bait right there guys Woo. now nice. we need about 12 more of them i'm going to talk a little bit about getting bait and the grind that goes into it with the electronics and everything else Sometimes bait is super tough, and this was exactly one of those days where it's like Chris says, you have to grind it out, and that's what Chris is doing here. I feel sorry for his shoulder. It's got to be fried after all this casting, but bait was super tough. It was scattered out all over. We had to look. We motored around. Chris was throwing the net constantly. It was just one of those days where you got to get out and uh, really pay attention to your electronics that's always been the problem with me in the past as uh i didn't pay as close a attention to electronics as chris says that you have to and he's exactly right um this bait was in little pockets where it was six foot and if you didn't land exactly right on the bait um you weren't going to catch them you might get one or two and we never did just clean house that day we Ended up getting enough bait to make it work, but if we'd have given up, we would have never had the trip that we had. So you guys stay tuned. Can't wait to share it with y'all. The river behind us. River is behind us. This channel is the river channel. I had to wear a jacket this morning. It's pretty chilly. I'm already warming up. Hey, right. Polar Bear, how's it going? Chris is anchoring us and I'm knocking stuff off. Here we go. Chris is waiting for the uh, boat to blow back around. And he got the anchor out. There it goes. That rope pulling tight yet back there, Bill? Yep. Sure is. All right, let me, I'm going to tighten that You're one. tight. Try to get as many baits out of these as I can. Yeah. 
what's one in there. Chris uses a double anchor system. He anchors on the front and the back. It keeps the boat from swaying. You saw him deploy those and tighten them up. Really good for keeping the boat from swaying and the rods from going slack. And uh, you can see here we're getting everything baited up, casted out. Uh, it's a little bit of a chore, man. Chris puts quite a few rods out here. But the more rods you got out, the more chances you got at big fish, right? So that's our uh, thinking on that. We get a, quite a few rods baited out here at this initial spot. There's a small eight foot channel that goes on to a two to three foot flat in this area. We're gonna make a move. Oh, oh Chris. Got him. <laughs> he heard Maybe you we'll say stay here move. a little longer. <laughs> he heard you say he was gonna move. We'll be set. You know it? This is for all the people that say I never keep any catfish. I'm about to keep some. Woo! This is going. This is going. Uh, going to be blackened by Killer B tonight. <laughs> Chunk of drum. Oh, look there. Get him, Chris. Got him. I didn't have the hot side on that time. I can't tell. He's swimming to the boat. He's dinner. There he comes. Hey there, buddy. Oh, that's an awful one. Never mind. We can't keep him for dinner. fish. Yep. Here. I got you, Chris. That was a freaking cool one. Here. <laughs> That was his twin. I'm pretty sure the other one's about this size. Oh, yeah. Boom, baby. <laughs> I just <put> a spot. <laughs> As usual, technical difficulties. <laughs> He's mad now. <laughs> Always. Go make some big fish. See you in 10 years, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Chris got a good one. We got a monster hooked up, y'all. Keep him out of that freaking. I'll get over here and help you, Chris. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad we decided to stay. I am too, man. Woo! <laughs> oh. Keep him out of this damn timber. That was a thread pin too. Woo, look at the tail on that thing. God, man, that's a good fish. Did you loosen this one up? No, no, that's got a fish on it. Oh. Woo! Look at that beast! Holy shit! Ready, Chris? Golly, that is a big shallow water fish. Look at that freaking monster, Bill! Do not lose it. Scoop him, dude. Oh, God. Oh. Woo! 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 Oh, Holy smokes, dude. That, that was worth the wait there. Woo! Oh. We got a big one. <laughs> oh, dude. Woo! That's a freaking monster. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Good job, Chris. Woo! Oh God, look at that! Look at that one. There was a big one right here. Oh my God, dude! This thing's got some serious power. He about broke my wrist. Dude, I just spooked one right there when I cast. They're up shallow, so he, he probably got spooked when I'm starting hooting and hollering. Oh, 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 oh. never mind. This one's running. He's running. He's oh, running. God dang it. Is he off? Yeah, he's off, man. He ran all the way across. Oh, that was smokes. A, that was that freaking monster that's that surfaced. That's the one that circled right there. God dang it. We're around some big fish. Let's just uh, put the drag on a little all right. tighter. All right. On all these. 
Okay. Let me move this net for you, Kurt. Bill just missed a freaking monster. It was a big fish too, man. God dang it. We got this one though. <laughs> what a toad. Toad city, man. Woohoo! <laughs> Victory! Yeah! Let me weigh this thing. <laughs> ah, it paid off. I'm gonna keep on saying we're about to move because every time I do, we get bit. Toad City, baby. Uh oh. Hit again. Hit again. See you later, monster. out of here that was freaking awesome boys <laughs> hey that was <laughs> that was worth the wait buddy <laughs> bill uh, perseverance man we've don't ever give up buddy we've been grinding this one's back don't ever give up because you never know buddy oh no. that's good mm. that's a tank Another beast. Get out, baby. Bill hooked up. Keep him out of those logs, Bill. Oh my gosh, that's a monster. Bill's got a monster. Dad was playing in the trash can. Oh, you running that? Dad was playing in the trash can. Dad was playing in the trash can. Everything, buddy. Bill's got a monster, boys and girls. Can I throw this in the lake? Can I throw this? Dad, careful. can I throw this in the lake? No, you may not. Bottle flesh. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Holy smokes, Bill! Let me get the net. Chris never, hang on Jackson, right up there buddy, Hard. hang on, hey Jackson come over around right here, I love it, oh my gosh Bill, that's a monster dude, I think that's a female, I don't know but it's big, whatever oh. the hell it is, look at it, yeah look at the head, I think that's a big male, fish in the net baby, <laughs> woo, <laughs> woo, <laughs> beast, This is gonna fish right there that she come out here. That black sucker. Oh. Hug it, Bill. Put this arm all the way around it. That way, you, if it flops, you won't drop it. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> she is something else, man. <laughs> Fishing with a zool never disappoints, man. <laughs> oh. Hey, Chris. Woo! <laughs> Toad. <laughs> Daniel says, way to go, Bill. <laughs> way to drop it, Bill. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whew. Hey, boy. <laughs> you missed it. I did, he got me with water and I smacked him in the face. <laughs> <of that laughs> 6.5. 6 Calling 40. Woo! Double 40s. Oh, wow! Well, Dad, Chris, get him, get him! Get him, Chris! <laughs> Got him? Got him. I don't know why the drag's so damn light on this one. Oh! Uh, <laughs> woo! Jackson! <laughs> woo! God! God! <laughs> Put yours up closer there so they can see. I can never get a hold of this damn thing. <laughs> about to kill me, man. Woo! Head's out of the picture. There it is. There it is. Yeah, baby. 
<laughs> that was good stuff, man. Good job, crew. Way to get that right. fish, man. Let's release these bad boys. Yep, Show it yep. up before you drop it in there. There you go. Oh. 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 oh, easy. I'm not taking my God, this fish is a crazy fish, man. Hey, get out of here, silly. This one, too. They're excited. See you later. Oh, Monster. Dude. Now if we can just get one over 50. <laughs> Boy, that'd be just a bonus, man. First little bait as we've had today, man. You know? I mean, we've been on the, we were on the struggle bus getting bait. The struggle bus finding bait. Yeah, fish. you know, when it's that hard to get bait, usually the fishing's not all that yeah. great. Um, me and Chris are doing something different today. I'm going to have Chris explain to you exactly what we're doing because it's different than when you've seen us fish in the past uh, we're basically on a spring bite uh, tra transition is in full effect we've got a big warm-up today it was 56 when we started it's supposed to be 93 today 94 degrees so we started out in six feet and we started marking good fish we didn't catch anything we what did we catch down there? A couple eaters? Maybe, yeah. A couple eaters. We got pecked to death. And uh, I knew as the day warmed up, we were going to go really shallow. So we moved up in here where there's a little more protected water, where the cold water is not blowing out of the main lake. And, uh, you know, the water up here is 67 degrees. It was 50. What was it this 59, morning? I think. 59 uh, t about 300 yards back so we moved up in here it started getting warmer and uh, that's where the fish are they're up here in this warm water and Chris called this he called it man he said that there were those fish were stacked up back there but they weren't eating yet as soon as we moved up here we started getting bites um, we are sitting in like two foot of water I've never caught big blue cats like this in shallow water Chris says they'll run to the side and uh, you can see the rod spread right there. Like if I zoom out, that's exactly what they did. Had one over here and he ran all the way across. And then we got a couple of big fish already. 240s, huh, yeah, Chris? Yeah, 240s. So, <clears throat> if you're looking in the spring, that, that would be good advice, huh, Chris? It's yeah, yeah. For the next month, this is the this is the pattern and even for the next two months possibly the next pattern the same pattern um, thread fin will be flipping around 68 70 degrees uh, that can change some things but uh, you just you know get up here where you could find the warmest water in the fishery uh, usually like the main lake was 53 this morning and when the further north that you go the shallower it is it's muddy up here the muddy water warms up faster and uh, that's where the fish want to be. They want to be comfortable. And uh, this is a it, total, man. totally different deal than drifting. It's uh, we're anchored up here. We've got a double anchor to keep us from spinning and drifting around. And we're basically anchored up in less than two foot. Yeah, you yeah. can see these big catfish roll out there as soon as you hook we're them. We're in one point nine feet. It's it's the most amazing thing ever to see one. We've even seen a couple before they actually took our line. Yeah, yeah, which that was, was cool. It, it was freaking legit. So, um, Chris, thanks for bringing me out today. Anytime, buddy. Uh, Anytime. I've experienced several different new ways to fish with Chris, and this is a, just another one, man. The guy knows his blue cats. Uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, subscribe to his channel, Elgato Azul TV. Um, Going to be an up and comer in the blue cat world, he, <laughs> even though he's been doing it for forty plus years. But uh, pretty new to the YouTube thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, YouTube. I'm. In, this is my second year, but I'm only about really five months in to doing these. Dude videos. knows his blue cats. Got to watch. Y'all keep an eye on him.